I'm just getting back from Long Legs, a movie that critics have been gushing over ever since it was released. The last time I saw a movie get so much praise out of the gates was Barbarian. I hated Barbarian. I went into this fresh, I knew Cage was in it, I love Nicolas Cage, see what kind of performance he puts in. And you know what, before I do the intro, why don't we just go ahead, I'm gonna give you a scene in kind of the same vein as this movie. Enjoy. There's a pattern to the killings taking place. I just need to figure out what that is. That's what the FBI hired you for, to figure out the pattern. Now come grab a drink with me, it's late. No. I don't drink. Well, I do. Let's go. Okay. That's the whole movie. Long Legs is a crime thriller slash horror film that's an hour and 41 minutes, but it feels like three hours. It's rated R for a few graphic scenes of blood and violence. If you're looking for a really great crime thriller with fantastic atmosphere, great performances, interesting storylines, then I would watch three or four movies by David Fincher because that guy's the shit and he made some freaking awesome movies. The Game, Seven, Zodiac. Those movies right there, top tier if you're looking for some atmospheric thrillers. Now, if you're looking for a horror thriller, that's not quite what Long Legs is. In fact, Long Legs feels like a movie that's trying to be produced by A24, but didn't quite make the cut. Obviously, there's gonna be a bunch of people that love this film because it seems like the more I hate something, the more it drives me up a wall, the more it actually drives people towards it. So there's this nice yin-yang balance of power going on. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the pros. Visually speaking, it looks great. This is a very pretty looking movie. Even when a lot of the scenes take place at night, the lighting is very solid. There's good contrast. Everything is working in this, okay? It doesn't have that gross new age camera style where everything feels flat and 8K digitally made. This has cinematic quality to it. Some of the music, when it's not just emulating Psycho, borderline ripping it off, is good. It, it brings some of that atmosphere. And the last pro I would say is there actually is a pretty interesting storyline here. There is a good murder mystery aspect to it that obviously lost me along the way, but the premise was sound. It's the execution that I could not stand. What we have here is a bit of a fish out of water storyline. We have Agent Lee Harker. She has been put on a big FBI case where a bunch of people have been murdered in their house by question mark. The only thing she really has to go on is the name Long Legs and some mystery puzzles for her to solve. Her boss, Agent Carter, wants to get this thing wrapped up, keep it moving, but she knows there's something deeper going on here. There's something sinister percolating underneath the bubbles above. There was some early praise for Nicolas Cage's performance. Why? What, what the hell were they watching? Because what I saw was comical. What I saw was Looney Tunes. It was Nicolas Cage trying to outcage himself. He's singing, he's doing these Joker-esque laughs, he's just throwing a fit. He's barely in this movie, keep in mind, but when he is, oh my god, the cringe is unreal. I don't know how anyone is taking this performance and going, wow, what an achievement here. Back to Lee, though, because she's going to be the primary focus of this film. She is the main protagonist. She's not your typical FBI agent. She's got a heavy case of Asperger's or something going on. She doesn't know how to interact with people. She's very much into the numbers game. She almost has a sixth sense about her where she can sense danger are coming or they she knows where something bad's taking place i feel like i kind of have that too when it comes to movies disappointing me because even before walking into that damn theater i had this uh awful feeling wash upon my body where i thought oh my god this is gonna be mm -hmm. this is gonna be awful now i was not alone in this opinion either i went with four friends and they were all miserable during this, moving around in their chairs, audibly groaning. There were other people, this was a full theater, and there were other people laughing at parts, also like heavily sighing, because the pacing of this movie is so agonizingly slow. 
You know those A24 films like A Ghost Story or The Green Knight? There are these long fucking camera pans where you'll start on one side of the tree line and you'll just slowly move across it, almost like it's buying time. But then when we get to the edge, what's the reveal? Oh, nothing. We subverted expectations. Don't you wish you could relive that again? No, I don't. There are establishing shots all through this movie that last 10 times longer than they should. A traditional establishing shot just has to be there long enough for your eyes to connect to your brain. Typically three to five seconds is all you need, maybe even quicker now in this day and age. But this movie's really gonna settle in for the long run on these establishing shots. It wants you to know that you're looking at a barn. It wants you to know that you're looking at the outside of a cabin. Some people say, well, that's building tension. Tension for what? There's no tension in this movie. I was never once scared or on the edge of my seat. I was so frustrated waiting for conversations to go somewhere. A conversation they have lasts for like five minutes. You and I could have this conversation in 15 seconds. That's the amount of information that gets out. It'll be like protagonist. So how are things? And then this other character going, hmm. Fidget, 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 fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Hmm. Okay. And then back to the main protagonist, just kind of like awkwardly sulking and, and, and like stewing for a bit because she doesn't really want to talk to people. Hmm. Oh, all right. Wow, riveting stuff here. Inevitably, when I bitch about a movie, people will throw out the, well, oh yeah, it's a little too slow for Adam. He needs nonstop action and explosions. That's not true. I brought up Zodiac. Zodiac is a pretty slow moving affair, but it makes sense in the storytelling. Fincher wants you to connect with these characters and get in their heads and get frustrated alongside of them, trying to unravel this mystery. And then we move to another character because it's spanning so many years. But with long legs, time is of the essence, but you wouldn't know it watching this film because everything is in slow motion. And of course it has to have the artsy stank put on. So we're gonna get four by three Polaroid aspect ratios that are gonna widen open. We're gonna get chapter markers, part one, part two. What is this trend going on? Will we put chapters in front? Like we know how a screenplay works. We know it's typically broke up into three sections, beginning, middle, and fucking ending. You don't need to give me title cards. I'm sick of it. I wanted to love this. Last year, I wanted to love Barbarian. I had no reason to be angry going into it. Nothing is better than putting down some money, escaping into the world of film, and being captivated for a couple of hours and then chatting about the highs and some of the lows with your buddies afterwards. But films like this, that almost seem catered and designed to target individual people they know are gonna make a big fuss about it on the internet, just annoys the crap out of me. Because there's a movie here, and it's not that far down from what they have, that could have reached a more mass appeal. But because it has to be up its own ass so much with these long shots and these A24 style tropes now, I just am over it. I want character and story first. This felt more gimmicky than that. And let me make one last thing very Pepsi Crystal clear. If you like this film, that's awesome. There's gonna be people that love this movie. It'll be their favorite of the year because they are into that stuff. They do like that it's different and it takes its time and it just really is a slow methodical thriller. And I, I, I envy you because I want to like that too. And I have in the past, but this style just does not play for me. And I do not think it's going to work for large audiences. The niche audience, of course, they're going to love it. But my mom's going to hate it. My sister's going to hate it. My brother would hate it. It is very much going after a very small sliver of a demographic. A proud one, sure, but it's unfortunate at least for me. All right, I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe if you haven't. I post movie commentary, reviews, roasts, live streams every week on the channel. I always give you my honest thoughts, even if they're terrible or you don't agree or whatever, I'm throwing them at you. Please like the video and leave me a comment. Did you see this movie already? Did you love it? Did you hate it like me? 
I want to know. And if this gets good traction, people seem interested in the topic of long legs, maybe I'll do a spoiler review down the road. That's typically how I do it. I gauge it on the feedback I get, the views and whatnot. And we go from there. All right. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Take care.